BYD is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens and copy the trades of top trade. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're doing the live stream tonight if you want to tune in for that, feel free. Well obviously you've got to be a member of the Patreon. But let's have a look at XRP, we're going to call it XRP day today, we need an update from that. So um, just a, a brief overview of Bitcoin, so Bitcoin's done pretty well for itself hasn't it, let's face it. Uh, yesterday was a nice big move up to the top of the Bollinger Band. Um, 72,000, almost 73,000, which to be fair was the candle body highs from over here. It's the first time I'm looking at it, obviously. Bit of a late start this morning with the old school run and bits and bobs. Um, and by the way, I don't know if anyone, my Patreon members all know about the fact that I've got a, a cat. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a cat anymore. I had to put the cat down. So, been a bit of a mad few days. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy, but uh, yeah, the cat's gone now. Poor old Sam, rest in peace. Let's have a think about uh, Bitcoin then from this very moment in time. So launched from the um, the 10 exponential yesterday, top of the Bollinger Band, effectively the top of this range, which is cool. And now uh, a rejection and back down below this. So this area here was more of a, a significant um, resistance. And you can see that the candle body closed more or less on it. So we're still battling with this area and not making a new local high. Not yet. Not yet anyway. Um, but being above all the um, moving averages as we are, with momentum turning up towards and above, obviously, the zero point, looking to ho hopefully make a positive cross. The daily is looking okay. Uh, you would start to get concerned, obviously, with closures below the 10 exponential, which would be below yesterday's open. And obviously, uh, the next level of support is going to be down here at 68,500. As you start going down below there again, there's be a bit of a problem, but for now, it's okay. So let's quickly view the four hourly. Four hours getting picked up around the Bollinger Band Center as well. Uh, 10 exponential. Uh, being your resistance as of this very moment in time uh, uh, but it looks okay you know bollinger band strategy 65 percent more likely to remain above the band and we have done since we reclaimed it over here retested it so it does look quite good to me um no bearish divergence on um the rsi a little bit on the money flow index again it's only a four hourly um so we won't take we, we, we won't um let's let's not get to let's not try and predict price action for Bitcoin today. I know that sounds crazy because you're like, hang on a minute, isn't that supposed to be what you do? It is kind of what I do. <laughs> Basically, that's how I make my money. And sometimes you have to accept that you can't predict it. You've got to let the price action tell you, give you some clues. And at the moment, yeah, we've had a nice move. The move was good. And the next move, well, it's open to interpretation and only time will tell. Uh, I would say supports to be taken seriously around the 10 exponential, which is around 69,300, and obviously if we do get the opportunity to buy 68,500, it's probably worth trying it, um, and it won't take long to know if you're wrong, really. Right, so as promised, let's have a look at XRP. This is the focus of the day. So XRP, despite what people might think, is actually also doing quite well. Uh, the four out, the, the the daily messy, but effectively managed to rebound on the uh, 200 exponential and on the simple. It was not neat. This one was neat. The rest of the market dragged us down further. So this is the problem with XRP. It is quite tricky sometimes because it is so wicky. Um, it's not a low cap coin, but the candle formations make it appear like it is a low cap coin. And the only excuse I can give it for that is that it's heavily traded with futures. So it behaves almost like a low cap coin or it gives the appearance of a low cap coin because derivatives uh, push it up and they drop it down. And not only that, but you can use XRP as collateral in futures trading as well, which only adds insult to injury in either direction. So it's very wicky and it's not particularly neat. Um, and it's being moved by the market at the moment as well after this consolidation. But if we're going to take it on face value, we are trying to reclaim areas of major significance being this uh, Bollinger Band Center. Uh, we did close above there yesterday. Today we've wicked down below it and we're currently below it at the moment, holding this area roughly around 61 cents, which is uh, a nice horizontal, to be honest with you, uh, a significant horizontal area uh, going back all the way 
to uh, sorry where are we all the way to this area and the breakdown uh, resistances and supports around here not so much recently uh, but yeah, it, it, horizontal area of significance. So let's have a look at the four hourly to see what's going on over here. Right, so this reminds me a little bit of how the one hourly was behaving for Bitcoin. Um, the, the one hourly 200 simple moving average posing as the main area of resistance. The one hourly looks a little bit more, there's a little bit more rhythm to it here. Uh, sorry, the four hourly has a little bit more rhythm to it. Lower term time frames usually coincide with a more traded chart really uh, and, and it's a little bit neater so the 200 simple resistance uh, Bollinger Band center support so really uh, we are looking to hopefully reclaim 62 cents really and clo uh, close above there use it as a support once you see a support on there I would be looking for it to start to move back upwards quite significantly so it's not bad actually looking at it here and um, no bearish divergence on the four hourly on any aspect of it actually the positive cross took place on the histogram down below here and we, and, and, um, and the MACD is still sailing beyond the zero point so it does look like it has further to run uh, but the main resistance is 62 cents. Um, and again, things will change if you not just close above there, but you end up getting support above there. And we should be looking for that. And that would be the next level of uh, continuation up to 67 cents. Look, 67 cents is a major area. So we can't deny that that is realistic uh, for potential rejection and maybe even, you know, the, uh, the you know, maybe that might be it. That might be it. But all resistances pose that threat. Uh, whether or not you uh, decide to hold on to see if we break that and move up to 75, which again, it's uh, it's not unlikely. I wouldn't I absolutely wouldn't say it's the most likely situation, but it's not unlikely because at the moment we're talking several resistances away from that. Uh, momentum on the four hourly does at least suggest that we're going to come back up to 62 and potentially break it uh, with a top target of around 66 to 67. Let's have a look at the one hourly then the uh the meth traders chart and we've got a nice golden cross which is just formed on simples and exponentials and literally just over the last uh, hour we came down to revisit the, uh, the 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 200 exponential so a golden cross retest it is only on one hourly and so if there was an opportunity to buy a dip or to try a position that would be where you would do it and uh, if that fails then i suppose this 200 simple could be the option at the moment we are getting a, a buyback on here and we should be looking for this to move back up and resistance is here around 61.67 uh, that's where you'd expect a resistance on the on the one hourly obviously this area already is a, is a resistance horizontal basis but moving average basis 200 uh, the um the 20 simple would be the place and if you get above there then this would be considered a breakout on the one hourly and you look to move back up to 62 which again corresponds to the four hourly and, and blah 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 so there is evidence i would say on xrp that we're going to continue with this rally um if we can break all these resistances and the main key i suppose is going to be is bitcoin going to hold this area or move higher over a little bit more time i actually think it is going to go higher i know i said in my video yesterday kind of crazy and i said oh we're going to move up into 92,000. look i'm not saying we're gonna if you watch that video you would you hopefully you'd remember what i said bitcoin is bullish in the form of a trend and so the trend is up and um, we do look like we're going to continue to trend up and i would expect to see new all-time highs, highs quite quickly whether that takes altcoins with it is a different story we didn't really see too much of that yesterday and that is a realistic possibility bitcoin is still m massively dominant uh, but altcoins are moving also yesterday we saw a big move on ethereum also which is surprisingly because ethereum has been so weak for so long um, and so yeah altcoins i think are just generally going to meander towards the up and then you base each trade or each setup you know on the individual uh, altcoin chart and if it's particularly good then i suppose take it seriously given the expectations with bitcoin and um, but it doesn't mean that all altcoins are treated created equal they're absolutely not some are better than others clearly uh, some are not very good at all some have already run and they're consolidating on their own uh, some are accumulating and are breaking out so they're all different so this is why you can look through you know the um you know top and top 10 best and worst performing altcoins and you'll see they're completely different uh, but the market does appear to be relatively positive and i would expect generally everything to continue moving up 
It might not be astronomical gains, and to be fair, the safest bet would be Bitcoin, as far as I can see. And remember what I said, supports down all the way down to 68,500, uh, so that doesn't mean we move straight up from here. But looking at XRP on the hourly and the four hourly uh, is quite good. And if we can just reclaim these areas and get uh, another green candle today or uh, over this week and and and. and and maintain price action above 62 cents uh, it would also be good on the daily and the daily is the more important one really for me because the weekly is still really good weekly is good above uh, 50 cents really the 200 simple uh, 200 exponential is just above uh, 50 cents so provided we're above all of that we're good to go uh, supports this week so far on the Bollinger Band Center, which is a great place to try it from. And uh, if that is the case, that you'll be looking for a move up to the top of the range. Again, magical number is the 66 to 67 cent zone. That's the Bollinger Band, uh, the top of the band uh, on on the weekly horizontal as well. So I, I I think we're looking for a move on XRP initially to move back up to 66, 67. And whether XRP has the power or the desire or even the market would allow for it, uh, we should be looking for a, a move on um, on XRP to to extend that and, and go back up here. And if we start to see that, then uh, I I think this time round would uh, would would be ready to break out further. But look, all of this is you know, cr you know a, a structure that's currently developing. Recognize that there's resistance is all the way up, uh, and as much as we always want to see higher targets uh, get met, we have to take it bit by bit. One step at a time so to play it safe it does look to me like 66 or 67 is going to get met this week uh, and uh, when if and when we get to that level then we can reassess and maybe we can move extensions of uh, the next target which is going to be into the mid 70s right i'll leave with you there there's nothing much more to say about it than that if you want to join me on the stream tonight links in the description below for the patreon uh, otherwise i hope you have a nice day take it easy